Hey everyone, KJ4YZI with a video review on a new device I just picked up on eBay. Just got here a couple days ago and wanted to show you all about it. This is going to be a uh, several videos on this device. This is the Sane Sonic AP510 APRS tracker. It has built-in Bluetooth, built-in GPS, thermometer, and SD card, uh, micro SD card slot. So this is an all-in-one unit. I'm going to show you what it comes with, and I'm going to make several other videos here on my YouTube channel on how to configure this, how to set the parameters, how to upgrade the firmware, and exactly what is APRS and what you can do with it. Uh, a lot of people had trouble with this in the beginning. Um, the manufacturer has come out with several updates and software since. So there's other people on the Yahoo group. If you go to the Yahoo groups and type in AP510, you'll find a bunch of people that are... Uh, dedicated right to this device on releasing new firmwares and upgrading the features. So I'm going to show you again what's in the box, what it has, how it's built, and we'll, we'll have other videos showing you how to get it set up and what you can do with it. So first you're going to get the actual unit itself. Okay, this is the tracker. Not that big. Smaller than a pack of cigarettes, I'd say. Uh, well, yeah, about the same size as the pack, maybe a little bit smaller. All right. Um, you're also going to get the manual here. Now the manual is very vague and this is the reason I'm making these videos because it shows in the manual uh, the features and certain uh, functions and abilities but it doesn't tell you how to get it working or what it means. So I'm going to do that. Also you'll get the antenna. This antenna comes with it. Um, and this antenna is a VHF antenna and the, the same SMA connector will fit um, the, the Bofung and Pofung radios will all, the antennas, if you have an aftermarket antenna you'd like to put on here, it will fit on here. It's the same connector as the Bofung and all them. Uh, so that's that. And then this is your USB programming cable. This is a RS-232 to USB interface, which is basically a serial to USB or USB to serial. It has a prolific chipset in here. I think it's the uh, 2302HLX, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Windows should automatically install this. When you plug this cable in by itself, it should automatically read the drivers and put them in. If it doesn't, check my other video on configuring and upgrading this device, and you'll see I have uploaded files for the Prolific, or you can get them from the Prolific website. All right. So the first things first. Uh, this device here is built and based on the... Arduino system. This is a uh, AVR Mega 64 board in here, uh, programmed with the information for the tracker. Okay, it's got its own self-contained 3,300 milliamp an hour lithium-ion battery that is charged through the USB port. Of course, I recommend when you get this device, put it on charge immediately. Let it go. Uh, when it charges, when it's charging, the red light will come on. When it's done charging, it'll go off. It'll look just like this when it's done. All right, so. On the bottom here is your USB port and your SD card, micro SD card. They call it Trans Flash or micro SD. Uh, but this here is a one gigabyte card I put in here. Spring loaded, fits right in. All right, you can see that. Or up close. All right, USB, micro SD. And on the top here is the red button and the two lights. So how do you turn it on? Well. You gotta long press the red button to turn it on, and you'll hear a beep and see the light. That's it, and then it'll beep again. Alright? So, long press to turn it on, and now the blue light's gonna flash. Now, the blue light is your GPS um, acquisition. When it's, when it's blinking when you first turn it on, it's looking for a GPS signal. When you have a solid blue light, that means it has found the GPS signal. Alright? It's locked on. So, on a cold start, this device takes about 45 seconds to a minute to find GPS satellites. I had this on about 10 minutes ago, so that's why it already discovered the GPS, right? So it's locked now. Solid, steady blue light means it's got GPS. The red button. When you push the red button one time, that is your beacon, all right? It's sending a beacon to your local eye gate or digipeter just by pushing it one time. Um, and... This thing, it, it, you can program it with the software in my other video to automatically beacon your position um, every so often. It just did it again. So right now it's set by default for 30 minutes or 30 seconds. 
However, you can do it manually with the button or smart beaconing so that it determines, okay, I'm going straight for an hour. I don't need to beacon that much. If you're making a lot of turns, it'll beacon quite a bit. So it's got the smart beaconing feature built in. Uh, you could also, the, the way to turn this off is to hold the button again and let it blink until you hear a beep. Let go. Okay, now it's off. So long press to turn it on, single quick press to beacon, long press to turn it off. All right. So uh, this, this is pretty cool. The last tracker I bought, um, I was looking at a Bionics, but so many cables and so many things to, to plug into this and that. And then I, I bought a mobile link, and of course I knew what I was buying, but what was I supposed to do with a circuit board wrapped in plastic wrap? And I tried Velcroing it to the back of my radio, and it was just a hassle. So uh, um, this one seems to have quite a bit of runtime on this battery. I think they claim 24 to 36 hours at 30 second intervals, or like 90 hours if you have it, you know, beaconing every three minutes or so. Um, but overall, this is firmware upgradable, uh, and there's you could also use this Bluetooth wirelessly to your Android app with the uh, APRS Droid app, and I'll show you in another video how to do that, but that will enable you to show as this thing receives stations over RF, it'll show you on your app what where, the, where they are on a map, you can write a message to them from the app, send it to this, this will go out to the local tower, and uh, interface everything. And I'll show you also how to hook this up to your computer over Bluetooth, if you have a Bluetooth on your computer, and use this as a TNC, uh, KISS TNC, so you can use it for packet radio, you can use it for BBS, you can use it for RF over email, or email over RF, excuse me. So you can send an email from your radio to the local tower if you have one in your area, and it goes to the internet. So, very cool device, I got mine, uh, online the links in the description about four days of shipping and uh, very happy with it so do check out the other videos if you're having problems also make sure you get on the Yahoo groups and talk to them and post any problems or questions you might have there and uh, we'll get to the next video this is Eric KJ4YZI73